Yeah. G'day, I'm here at the Camberwell Market with Robert. Aka, a Croydon, Ackeroid. Croydon Stamps and Collectibles Bookstore in the mall there. And And where else? Uh, well, for the first, uh, uh, for, uh, on the 2nd of December uh, this year, uh, will be the 8th anniversary of me founding and building uh, a Wanda Welcome, uh, a community building advocacy organisation on behalf of people who have arrived in Australia from war torn countries uh, uh, seeking a safe home. For the first uh, five years, uh, I was lucky enough to be able to walk into my second-hand bookshop in Croydon, turn on the computer and spend all day how on the ago, internet. How long ago was that? 2013, uh, so, but the uh, beginning of 2019, I realised that I was going to have to... Now, when uh, did you first start selling books? Uh, 1983. 1983? And you've been in it, what, that's... Um, 38 20, years. 38 years doing it. Where'd you pick them up from, Robert? Uh, I can, uh, See, that's a, that's a book dealer's secret. <laughs> I have a, a customer in uh, 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 at St Andrews uh, who collects illustrated uh, uh, surf books, but I'd already sold him those. And what have we got here? You've got um, Barons of the Sea. That looks good. Hilary Mantel, Captain Cook. I'm delighted for you to grab that one. You mean to tell you even get a beautiful smile as well. $10. <laughs> Michael Faber. Good morning everyone, welcome to the Campbell Center Market. Just a reminder that there's no driving at all in the market area. So, Robert, what got you into selling books? Uh, I became a, a, a. What I'd actually prefer to talk about uh, is a uh, uh, land of, land of uh, uh, welcome. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what, what did you think about the 57 Afghani refugees in island detention? Uh, well, uh, uh, the, uh, I believe Australia's policies towards people who have arrived seeking uh, safety and freedom uh, is uh, uh, cruel and inhumane, which yeah. is why I founded Land of Welcome. So do you think it's um, hypocritical that we had diggers fighting to protect um, Afghanis in Afghanistan and we've got them locked up on islands? Uh, uh, it is hypo uh, Indefinitely? It, it, it is uh, hip hypocritical and I think... It doesn't make I, I, sense. I, I think that we have a a a a, 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 a another a, a conflict. I'm not going to say that. Well, I think we might get further with uh, uh, China, uh, f further in our polarised uh, community. If we uh, seek understanding, empathy, uh, and uh, compassion. Uh, yeah, but if you haven't got a war, you can't sell weapons. Uh, th 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 this is uh, true. So I think that. Uh, uh, with our, uh, uh, our, our turn back the boat policies and the other things that we do, when we uh, preach to China, um, I don't think we make them more open and receptive uh, uh, and responsive to changing. But some submarines that are coming 20 years from now, we won't be alive to see them. Uh, I think that uh, uh, Scott Morrison uh, is foolhardy. Well, what, what about the Bill Leela family? Why, why haven't they got permanent residence yet? What's the reason there? Uh, Why are they still in the Australia's general uh, immigration uh, 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 policies and policies uh, towards uh, people, people seek, seeking safety and freedom? And you have your answer. Yeah. Why? Why have we got um, no no permanency for them? They're still indefinite, so they could be kicked back onto Christmas Island again when uh, they were, pay, this, they were this, paying this, taxes. Uh, they were active members of their community in Billalila. Their the community wanted them. Uh, it just—it sounds you've done that. I would it. say uh, uh, vote a uh, 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 Labor and the uh, and, and, and the and the Greens uh, uh, don't don't vote uh, 
uh, for, uh, for, uh, for the Liberals? I, I think it's just um, pandering to One Nation for preference votes. Uh, I it's think that when, purely uh, political. I think that when uh, Pauline Hanson came along, uh, John Howard saw um, it as an opportunity to uh, ca capture uh, uh, votes, so he started to uh, uh, implement uh, cruel, in, in, inhumane policies. He stopped. Uh, he stopped the votes, apparently. Yeah, it, I, I think that that's the uh, a, a, a die elsewhere uh, a policy. Uh, we allow people to. Uh, um, participate uh, in uh, uh, in extreme and dangerous uh, sports where they put their own lives at risk when people uh, uh, feel that the situation in their so own country is uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so desperate that they risk their lives at sea uh, then uh, we should realise that these internal qualities of uh, uh, courage uh, uh, resilience, perseverance the very qualities that we need, need here in Australia Okay, and closing off, Robert, when are you going to get out of the books? When's the last day you'll sell a book? <laughs> That's an unknown. I've got no idea. After 38 years, maybe 40, two more years? Uh, I think I'll be going longer than that. Okay. <laughs> you, might, you might round it off to um, 2030? Uh, another nine years? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 another, uh, oh, possibly longer. Great range of... Great range of books you got here, the beautiful books. Uh, having uh, uh, struggled in business myself and uh, 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 seen a, a, a close friend of mine uh, uh, struggle in uh, business uh, and her husband uh, ring her up and ask her to close her shop and uh, she in, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, t tears uh, and my understanding of uh, uh, successful uh, sales, uh, sales uh, psychology and marketing. Uh, if I go into something else, I'd love to develop my uh, skills uh, within uh, copywriting or sales psychology so that I can help others. Uh, uh, and we'll increase. wrap it up. Wrap it up. Great to meet you, Robert, fellow bookseller. And this is David from the Wonthaggy Bookshop, Rama Lama Book Exchange, signing off with Robert. All right. Um, thank you for the opportunity, uh, David. You're welcome.